Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Em. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you an all-in-one PDF editor that offers the easiest way to create, edit, convert, annotate, and sign PDF documents in Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. And this is called PDF Element by Wondershare. And I'm happy to announce that this video is sponsored by them. But as usual, I'm going to be reviewing this software based on my personal experience. So let's get into the video. So if you have a lot of PDF documents to work on from school or from work, PDF Element can come in handy. It is a simple user-friendly PDF editor to maximize your document productivity. So if you're interested, the links are down in the description box. PDF Element is free to download, but to enjoy the perks, you can purchase by subscription or choose the all-time purchase. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite features in the software and I'm going to be using the Mac OS. So let's head on to the first feature. Let's try the app and open a PDF document by dragging the file or clicking the open file. So up here is your main toolbar. One of the usual tools for annotation is the markup tool. You can choose any color and highlight the texts or underline them. And to annotate your PDF, it's best to use a pen tablet or a drawing tablet. So I'm using XP Pen Deco Font S for this, but you can use any other pen tablet that's compatible with your OS. So now let's try to enter some worksheets. Another thing you can do is you can add a text comment, a text box, a text callout, or a sticky note. You can also use these outline shapes to highlight or give emphasis to a paragraph, images, or texts. There's also the default stamps that you can use or even import your customized stamps. And lastly, you can create up to three signatures. You can use either a mouse or the trackpad on your laptop. But I like using a pen tablet to sign better and smoother. You have these colors to choose from and also an option for the ballpoint size. Next feature is the text tool. What I like about this is that you can edit the font, the font style, the size, the color, you can make it bold or italic and choose the alignment. And you can even add texts or delete them. You can also add images, rotate, replace with another one, crop it, or delete the photo. And if you want, you can add a link to your PDF document. My third favorite feature is the filling out forms or making your own forms. Here's a sample application form with no editable text fields. What you can do is you can add individual text fields like this. Hit on preview to write on it. Then we have a checkbox and a radio button. Here you can change the style of your checkbox. Next is a drop down where you can add options. Just type in the name here and add your options for that in here. Then a list box. Here you just have to list down items separately unlike the drop down. Then your OK button. But of course it would be tiring to put everything one by one, right? So the easiest way to put everything together is to click here and click form field recognition. But remember this cannot be undone. Click continue and there you go. However, it doesn't recognize the checkbox, so you have to put that individually beside your preferred choice or choices. So let's hit preview and this is how it looks like. If you don't want the field names and the highlight to be visible on the edit view, there's an option here to hide the names and disable the highlight. 
And lastly, when filling out forms, you have to affix your signature. You can either go to the markup and drag in your signature over your printed name. You can also import from stamps. And to make your document more confidential, you can create your digital signature in the form tool. You can edit the settings here. Hit preview, then click on the digital sign and you can create your digital ID by entering your name, email, organizational unit and name, and country, then click OK. Digital ID files are password protected. And if you're done with the form, click Save. Your digital signature is now valid. Another favorite of mine, or maybe my most favorite, is the OCR text recognition. OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition, and it recognizes text from a scanned document, a photo of a document, or a screenshot, and convert it into a machine-readable form where you can able to edit. So I'm going to show you a sample of each. First is a scanned document. It can detect a scanned PDF and will suggest an action to perform OCR. But I'm going to show you where to find the OCR. Go to the other tools and click OCR text recognition. Select a language, choose a page range, the DPI or dots per inch for the resolution and sharpness, and the type. Then click perform OCR. Now you can edit your scanned document however you like. You can even copy and paste them to other apps like Pages or MS Word if you're using Windows. Next is a photo of a document and same process applies. This one is from my old book that I captured from my camera phone. And last sample is a screenshot from a Zoom webinar. So again, just perform an OCR on this and you'll be able to edit on this. Here are the other tools. We have add or edit watermark or background, add or edit header and footer, and crop pages. The last feature I'm going to show you is the conversion from PDF to other file format. For example, you want to convert this document. Just go to the file tab up here, click export, and click the format of your choice. It can be Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Pages, EPUB, Text, HTML, or RTF. Another way is to go to the main page, which is this one, click Convert PDF, choose the file to convert, Click Open, choose the Format Form from the drop-down, and click Convert. And here's the converted files to Pages and Excel. Okay, so that drops up my favorite features. And again, if you're working on tons of PDF documents, I recommend you try this out to somehow help you maximize your document productivity. Okay, so that's it guys. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and please do subscribe to my channel. See you on my next vlog. Peace.